It's not all the time trees are accepted to be removed by council. This makes total sense. Trees are useful. We need them. The planet needs them. So a lot of rules are in place to protect trees from indiscriminately being removed. You already have an idea of what you can say to justify removal to the council. Chances are other people have had the same exact excuses and reasons and may have failed before you. Generally, the following reasons the council will not consider as significant grounds for removal. The tree is too big or tall. It's dropping leaves or sap. It's dropping deadwood. It's blocking your view, blocking light to your solar panels, blocking TV or satellite reception. Now they're all good reasons, but council just don't tend to approve trees for these reasons. Now you know the general guideline for what a council will and won't accept. Realistically, every single application presented to council is different. All trees and their environment is unique. Some trees in certain circumstances will be removed and in other circumstances will be denied. Your best bet is to put an application in and try. Next video, I'll talk about the 1050 bushfire legislation and explain why. In some circumstances, you can use this legislation to remove your tree on your property. I'll see you on that video.